वेलकम यू ऑल टूडे टॉपिक इज डायोड एज ए स्विच डायोड है मेरी अप्लीकेशन अमॉन्ग दैम टूडे वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड डायोड एज ए स्विच वी आर नो दैट स्विच इज एन इलेक्ट्रिकल आस्पेक्ट इट हैज टू स्टेट स्विच ऑन एंड स्विच ऑफ इन ऑन स्टेट स्विच अलाउज द करेंट टू फ्लो इन ऑफ स्टेट स्विच ब्लॉक द करेंट टू फ्लो वी आर नो दैट डायोड कैन बी बायास इन टू वेज a forward bias and a reverse bias in the forward bias diode will conduct the electricity from p terminal to n terminal in the reverse bias diode will not allow the current to pass through it so this this is giving us an advantage of using diode as a switch now how to make a diode in forward bias and how to make a diode in reverse bias so whenever anode potential is more than that of the cathode potential for an ideal diode then diode goes in a forward bias coming to reverse bias whenever anode potential is less than the cathode potential for an ideal diode then diode goes in reverse bias now let us see how the circuitry looks like so it's very simple this diode if i connect its anode terminal to the positive terminal of battery and cathode terminal to the negative terminal of the battery which implies that anode terminal is connected to higher potential compared to the cathode terminal as a part of which this diode goes in forward bias in forward bias it allows the current to flow through flow through it as a part of which it looks like a closed switch we can observe here coming to reverse bias condition as per our statement if anode terminal is applied to a less potential compared to cathode terminal then the diode goes to reverse bias so for that you can observe here p type of pn junction is connected to negative terminal of the uh, battery and positive terminal of the battery is connected to cathode terminal of a diode then this potential anode potential is less than the cathode potential as a part of which diode goes to off state or it is switch off so this is a operation for the ideal diode and you can observe here the characteristics for the ideal diode looks like this if the voltage if the input voltage more than 0 volt then the diode start directly conducting if the input voltage less than 0 volt then the diode goes in off state okay this is a off state of the diode whenever the input voltage is less than 0 and this is the on state of the diode whenever the input voltage is more than 0 so this is the case for ideal diode okay if anyone would like to feel like for what happens to the practical diode then it is very simple this diode forward bias can take place for a practical diode is having one condition what is that the anode potential compared to cathode the anode terminal should have a more voltage or a more voltage compared to barrier potential of the practical diode okay coming to here if the anode potential is less than cathode potential with an amount of less than the barrier potential of a pn junction diode means it's very simple this anode pot terminal compared to cathode terminal anode terminal should exhibit a greater than barrier potential of the pn junction diode so that is a condition for practical diode if if we consider a ac signal then also this this sentence is very very important okay now we will see some some sort of animation to help you out so let us observe if p terminal of the battery is connected to anode terminal of a pn junction diode then diode is switched on okay so you can observe here so this is a diode which is under test and this is led which will tell you when the diode is on see whenever a supply is connected then the diode is forward bias so it was it will get on and as a part of which led will glow okay now you can observe diode diode as a off switch you can see here the terminal anode terminal of the diode is connected to negative terminal of the battery and cathode terminal of the diode is connected to positive terminal of the battery as a part of which uh, 
this diode goes to reverse bias which implies that it is a switch off condition of a diode so you can observe here this negative terminal or the cathode terminal of the pn junction diode is connected to positive terminal of the battery and negative terminal of the battery is connected to anode terminal of the pn junction diode so as a part of which this diode is in off condition this diode is in off condition as a part of which there is no current flows through led led is indicating that the diode is in off condition here the led is indicating that diode is in on condition fine i hope you understood what is the concept of diode as a switch switch on and switch off with respect to forward and reverse bias respectively now we move on to other applications of diode so diode as a switch this application will give us many advantages like this so it can be used for the rectification action in the rectification action we wish to convert what was our task for the rectification action we wish to convert ac signal into dc signal so that can be that we can enjoy because of diode as a switch other than that clipping action okay clippers clippers are the circuitry which removes unwanted part of a signal or which remove which you desired part of a signal what you would like to remove okay so that is it clear like clippers are the circuitry which removes the unwanted part of a signal or it will clip off the signal which you would like to clip off okay what are the clampers clampers are the circuitry which will shift the complete signal either in a positive cycle or in a negative cycle that clamper may be not complete shift even though that clipping may be up to particular level of voltage that is that can also be okay fine other than this diode as a uh, switch applic uh, application we will give us other advantage like voltage multipliers like doubler tripler quadrupler whatever it is means it will be multiplying this voltage multiplication happens with respect to peak value of a ac signal applied to the multiplier fine coming to other applications of diode i said like that the reason for that is other than regular or a, or else you can say rectifier diodes we can have even leds photodiodes and uh, zener diode tunnel diode many many other diodes are also there but the construction of all those diodes are as per conventional rectifier diode so as a part of which led can be used as indicators in many of the applications led bulbs and it can be used as a source of optical signal for optical fiber communication fine now what is photodiode we know that it it, it detects of photons photon of energy implies it detects light energy right so light detector we can use photodiode for okay we can use photodiode for the detection of light and it can use also for the optical signal detection in case of optical fiber communication fine coming to zener diode so many of us are very clear about zener diode like zener diode can be used for the voltage regulator and also voltage limiter applications i feel i you have understood the concept of diode as a switch and other applications of the diode on having conventional rectifier diode led photodiode and zener diode thank you for your patience listening we will see with the other diode other semiconductor or the electronic concepts in future thank you very much have a nice day